What's up guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be recreating one of my older videos back from 2016, which is how to turn water into wine. Back in 2016, I was just a 15 year old kid who did not actually drink wine. Fast forward six years and now I actually have a wine tattoo, so I thought it would be a good idea to recreate that video today. Here's the effect and here's how you can do it yourself. Okay, first we need to go shopping. Besides the wine glass that I already had, if you don't have one, of course, you need to buy one or just use a normal glass, I guess. We need some food coloring, especially the red one. I could just buy this pack, but for the sake of this video, we only need the red one. And some non-sparkling water, because wine, of course, is not sparkling. Just for the video, normally I would just drink sparkling water. Do you prefer sparkling water or non-sparkling water? Leave a comment down below. Of course, we need non-sparkling water because wine is not sparkling. Really, don't forget this if you're shooting somewhere where you can't get water. Then we need to shoot. We're shooting from a tripod because it's way easier for post-production and we can always add in the movement later in post. Frame your glass in the shot, be sure that the background isn't like moving or anything. I put my wine glass in the left side of the image so that I could perform my hand movement on the right side. First we pour the water into the glass, then we can perform our hand movement. Be sure to leave the camera rolling the entire time so that it does not move. I performed several hand movements, some snapping, some forced stuff for some variation. Then we pour the food coloring into the glass of wine. Again, pay attention that you don't move the wine glass and that you don't spill any water or color drops on the glass. Sadly, I hoped that this wouldn't be the case when I bought it, but it was. The food coloring really wasn't fluid, but more like a paste, so we had these small colored sausages. So I put more and more in trying to, I don't know what I tried. However, then I mixed everything and suddenly the water turned red. Sadly, now I put way too much coloring into the red wine, so it wasn't see-through anymore, but we're gonna fix that in post. Now leave the camera rolling for a little bit, and if you have a bit more time on location than I do, try not being in the reflection of the glass so prominently like like I was, that's not, not cool. Now let's go editing. First I split the entire clip, because we left it rolling the entire time, remember, into separate scenes. I renamed the clips to empty glass, hand movement and wine just for some better organization. Now we select the clip with the red wine and put a mask somewhat accurately around it, because in my case I had the moving leaves right next to and behind the glass. Then we feather the mask by around 20 pixels depending on your scene. Next because my red was so thick, I put the lumetri color effect on the clip with the red wine to adjust the color. I adjusted the tint a little bit. This of course also depends on your food coloring, maybe you don't even need to adjust it in post if you're using better food coloring, the color should be fine. For example, in my old tutorial from 2016, I used a more liquid food coloring, which meant I didn't even have to use a reveal effect in After Effects. I just masked around my hand dropping the food coloring in and the drops made it kind of a cool effect, but today we're gonna do all of that in post and achieve a different look. Also I didn't have to mix it because it again was liquid. Once we adjusted the color, we start on the revealing of the red wine. First we need to synchronize our hand movement to the reveal part where it switches from water to wine. In my case, I used the snapping motion, so I went to that portion of the clip, trimmed it and renamed it to snapping for a better overview. Then we put the snapping hand layer on top of everything and mask it out in the middle of the frame. Even though you can blend everything really good, it's always nice to put the mask on a straight line so that it becomes even less obvious. In my case, I used the tree trunk in the background. Now we're going to animate the wine review part. First, we're keyframing the mask expansion, so open up your mask settings down here in the timeline and go to mask expansion. Then skip forward a few frames in my my case it was 7 frames and click on the time watch next to mask expansion to set a keyframe with a value at 0. Then go back to the start of the wine layer and adjust the mask expansion to a negative value so that the red color disappears. Now select both keyframes, right click on it, go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease. This will just make the animation more smooth. Then we can experiment with the timing of the reveal by adjusting the keyframe so that it perfectly fits our snapping or hand movement. Now we're looking for the turbulent displace effect, also drag it onto the wine layer. Now skip the 7 frames forward again, we can just use the mask expansion keyframe as a reference and set the amount setting in the turbulent displace effect to 0. Now go back to the beginning and set it to 80, or more or less if you want the effect to be different, but in my case 80 seemed pretty good. And also don't forget to put easy ease on it as well. Since I was so visible in the reflections I also put a Gaussian blur with a value of 10 on the layer, no keyframes, just to hide it a little bit. And then for our final step, we put the rough and edges effect on the layer and keyframe it just like the other effects. So fast forward 7 frames or 8 or 9. I wanted to have that effect just a little bit longer. There I put the add sharpness value to 0. And then going just a few frames, 2 or 3 backwards, I set the value to 0.15. Because of course we want the edges to be rough during the entire time of the reveal. Now we just need to turn on easy ease and there we go. Here you can see some variations with another hand movement. That's it from this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing right here for more videos just like this one. You can watch more videos right here and right here and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Amen, sister. I did not want to make fun of that. I'm just gonna go.